Well, upset students speaking out tonight after being turned away from their homecoming dance. Administrators at American Leadership Academy in Spanish Fork say their dress standards were not up to code. New specialist Shelby Lofton got reaction from one of the teens who was turned away, her mom, and also the school. Shelby. I spoke with some students who were dress coded and they said they were made to feel bad about themselves and their bodies and they want an apology. You could have spaghetti straps. No cleavage. And it just has to be fingertip length. All standards, Isabella Irvine says her homecoming dress met. Hers was longer than that. that she and other students shopped for the perfect dress. I had like probably three quarter length sleeves and it was a square neck. To wear to the homecoming then, dance. It would be her last. We were mad for her because this is their senior year and the dance should be fun and special for them. Irvine said she was allowed inside, but later on she got kicked out. The chaperones, I guess, had a problem with the length of my dress. Irvine says she was one of about 60 girls who were dress coded and asked to leave. The school argues it wasn't that many. From what we were able to see, there were 12 students that were turned away. What do we want? Yeah. A group want? rallied against the dress code restrictions before school. I want to minimize their concerns. Um, we'll look at them and take them seriously and address the things that are valid. Director Rich Morley said school leaders believe the dress code is fair. He responded to claims of body shaming. Just because another student has worn that dress or what doesn't mean it's going to fit you the same way that it fits them. It feels degrading for them to be making these comments about our bodies. Irvine and her mom said they didn't like how the school handled the situation. I hope that the school changes their policy a little bit. I don't like that. It kind of discriminates against girls that are curvy or different sizes. Morley said the school board recently changed the dress code policy to be more lenient. As an administrator, we don't make policies. We just enforce policies that are established by boards. Mr. Morley told me school officials will continue to talk about this with board members and they're making plans for future dances. Shelby Lofton, KSL 5 News.